Hey beloveds, welcome to my channel Beanie TV where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. I hope you guys are feeling blessed, light, love, and appreciated in your lives. We are about to end 2007. We're about to enter into 2016 and end 2000. Oh my god, what? We are about to forget it. Y'all know what's up. New Year's Eve is coming. New Year's is coming. Get ready. Gird your loins. Okay, so today I want to um, talk to you about uh, living in Los Angeles. So this is your, this is one of my moving to LA videos and I think I'm going to do a series for the rest of the week. So please stay tuned if you are new to my channel. What it is, yo, what's up? Um, be sure to subscribe. So there are five truths about living in Los Angeles. I have lived here for two years. I moved from New Jersey and Brooklyn, Brooklyn. I moved here two years ago to pursue a career in uh, entertainment and it has been going well by the grace of God. God is so amazing. God is so beautiful and I'm so happy and blessed to have been able to be in um, TV shows and commercials and dreams are real. God is real and just got to take that leap of faith. So if you are thinking about moving to Los Angeles, here are five things that you need to know before you pack up your stuff and move to the West Coast. First. Thing is please come here with a plan Los Angeles is not like New York you cannot come here without a plan and hope to just coast and and uh, hope that everything works out Los Angeles is not like that you have to make sure that you already have somewhere to live slash somewhere to stay I do not advise you to stay in a hotel or an Airbnb and then try to find an apartment because what you're doing is your energy is going to be in um, kind of chaos and franticness trying to look for an apartment and nothing good comes out of frantic energy and I'm speaking from experience when I moved here I moved in with my good friend Justin but I wanted to move out and live on my own and I was in this kind of frantic oh my god I gotta hurry up and find an apartment and I found an apartment and I am blessed to be able to have this cute little bachelor apartment but this apartment has so many things wrong with it that if I had just taken my time and looked for a proper apartment I wouldn't have had to deal with all the shit that I've been dealing with and I curse so that's how you know it's real so do not come out here on a whim chasing a dream please guys have a plan know where you're going to live know why you're coming out here because when i tell you wherever you're from whether you're from oklahoma you're from europe or whatever you your dreams will manifest in los angeles there's an energy in this city whatever you want to do you are going to achieve it but you have to be clear about why you're coming out here don't come out here thinking that you'll just figure it out it's not that type of city um so first things first have a plan don't come out here on no whim don't do it it's not worth it at all i've had people like asking me like should i should i move out here i mean should i come to la i'm only 18 and i'm like absolutely not save your money discover yourself go ha ha get a job where you're at get clear and then move out here los angeles isn't going anywhere there's no rush all right second thing is you have to know where you're going to live los angeles is a huge city and it is a driving city i don't drive i take the bus and lift and it's worked fine for the first two years um but it is a very large city and there's many parts of it and each part has its own you know uh, clubs and bars and coffee shops and whatever you really never have to leave your section like um i live over near downtown and um, downtown is very busy um, but there is definitely a lot of like grit and grime there's a lot of homeless people that walk around there's a lot of druggies that walk around it's a huge Latino community um, so you're definitely getting like really great food and culture while you're down here and then I I live in the area before downtown so I just say it's downtown but I live in the area before downtown but further downtown you have your like your clubs and your bars and you have a lot of really beautiful creative people creative people that are just like in fashion and photography and art and all of that um, but it is expensive to live downtown because mostly they just have lofts they have really beautiful lofts so if you can afford it I you know would suggest moving downtown and um, 
getting a loft and maybe sharing a loft with someone but you're gonna meet some really awesome people downtown and then you have like culver city and then you have like living in north hollywood and you can live in silver lake you can live in echo park i'm gonna do a video on where to live in los angeles um soon but just get an idea of where you want to live and do your research. There was a website called movingtola.com. I think it like crashed or they like tore it down or something. But that website was so helpful when I was moving here. So um, I would just do my research. And when you're looking for an apartment, please read the Yelp reviews. Because like bed bugs are so serious here in LA. Like it's a it's kind of new i mean they started the bed bugs started coming here in like the early 2000s so if you see someone talking about bed bugs please understand that that building will have bed bugs like forever so don't just ignore that um yeah so decide where you're gonna live you know you can live in koreatown and downtown if you're looking for something busier if you're looking for something a little bit more quiet or um a little bit more hipstery then you definitely want to move to echo park and silver lake and if you are a dancer um i highly suggest moving to north hollywood that's where all the dance studios are again i'm gonna do a video on where to live in la um soon the third thing about los angeles it is a very lonely city. You will be by yourself a lot. Uh, especially if you move out here on your own, you are going to be by yourself a lot. But that's why I love this city because it stretches you. It makes you battle those deep, dark thoughts that you didn't even know were in you. And um, yes, you can meet people and you can have fun, but there's something about this city that is constructed to make you be by yourself. Because it's like you're always in your car, people aren't walking around like that, like your interactions with people are like, you know, super short or whatever, like you go to Trader Joe's, you get your shit, and then you get back in your car and then you drive. And it's like you're always by yourself. So if you are not ready to discover the deep dark parts about yourself or if you're not ready or if you are ready to like really understand who you are and know that it is really just you and god up in los angeles and honestly what better relationship would you have than just you and god you know like like this the two amigos the fourth thing about los angeles is that it's something that i love i love living in la because I can take the train to the beach. I can, you know, just go and take a hike. Like, I really, really love the health conscious, nature conscious aspect of Los Angeles. Like, there's juice bars everywhere. Um, there's, yeah, there's hiking. There's the beaches. There's gyms. There's yoga places. There's holistic places. Like, it's so easy to find um spiritual shops here in los angeles and i really really love that so if that is something that you are you know really passionate about or looking into there's amazing places there's like house of intuition there's wanderlust there's um spellbound sky these are all really great like places to take um to take classes like meditation classes and yoga and they're all really really good and um yeah that's what i love about la i love that i can take care of my body here and i can be in nature here and there's a lot of beautiful parks in los angeles there's a lot of really great museums like the broad museum it's like seriously one of my favorite museums i haven't been to the whitney in new york yet and i haven't been to the um african-american museum in dc it's in dc right like i haven't been there so maybe i don't know i'm speaking like too early but i love going to the broad like it's one of my favorite museums and it's free um and the fifth thing is if this is your first time living on your own and you are like, you know what, I'm doing it, I'm taking that leap of faith, please be prepared. And if you don't come from a family of, you know, um, excess wealth, please understand you are going to have a lot of nights being broke and you and not just like, um, I'm so broke. Oh my God. I'm broke until the next two weeks or I'm broke until I get paid no like you're gonna be like really broke because you're paying bills and for me this is my first time paying bills and again I'm speaking from experience I'm not being negative I'm being realistic so for me this is my first time paying bills so trying to navigate paying bills and still wanting to do stuff and flying back home and saving and buying like groceries it was all very very new and there were times where i did not manage my money well and i was left with like a dollar and i'm like scrunching up change to get ramen noodles like true story so if you are not ready to 
do a little bit of a struggle life season then this is not the city for you or that's not the move for you yet but do understand that los angeles is not a city to be broken again going back to new york going back to you just living at home you can like struggle life in new york and still be good and still have those amazing experiences like i know i know that from experience but los angeles is not like that you cannot be in this city and be broke like for real broke you need income coming in you need to be able to you you should want to experience the finer things in life los angeles is covered in luxury like you go to beverly hills like you see lamborghinis all the time everywhere and it's because it's available to you you know what i'm saying people dropping hundreds of thousands of dollars like all the time it's available and for me when i see things like that that means that it's available to me los angeles is a city where it's like you want a good life you don't want to be struggling out here because it's not cute poverty is not cute poverty is not spiritual there's nothing spiritual about poverty Mar that was like a quote from marianne williamson like there's nothing spiritual or holy about poverty so it's i've and i've learned that recently like okay there are like really wealthy luxurious amazing things to experience in los angeles and i want to be a part of that and what am i gonna have to do i'm gonna have to like work at that it's not okay to be broken la it's not okay to be broken la it's not okay to be broken la it's really not so um please make sure that you guys are saving up your money i moved out here with i think five thousand dollars um and just save up your money before you come out here have a plan understand that los angeles is a lonely city but lonely can sometimes be good know that los angeles has all of your spiritual nature needs and yes los, los angeles is a very weird city but it is a city where you're gonna book work it is a city where you're going your dreams are going to come true whether it's in fashion cinematography whatever whatever it is there's something there's an energy in this city where your dreams can happen like don't don't think about competition. There's no such thing as competition. What God has for you is for you and he will make the way for you no matter what. So if you're ready to experience all those things, move out to LA. And if you're not, take your time. This city is not going anywhere. Take your time, save your money, create a plan. And I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I'm coming up on three years in Los Angeles and I feel like I'm finally getting it right. Because I feel like I was getting it wrong for like two years. Like, I, you know, I've had some really amazing blessings and miracles in my life here. But there's definitely moments where I'm like, be sure to subscribe. I love you guys. And let me know your questions about Los Angeles below. I love when you guys ask me questions about LA. Okay, peace.